second one was on the phone, as he discovered he's not breathing. That's rough. It's true, in addition to being on the phone, when apparently the patient is undergoing some kind of duress or maybe stopped breathing, this doctor was attending to his patient without any kind of devices, such as monitoring devices or alarm devices, that would let him know if he's in the other room, hey, the patient's in distress. So this medication, propofol, is never given in a home setting, especially without the precautions that are normally available in an emergency room or for different care unit. We also heard from the, the pharmacy uh, owner who said, I shipped a uh, pretty good amount of propofol to the house. Okay. What can the defense do in this case in terms of trying to change the kind of the mood of this process? Today, the prosecution used evidence that the manufacturer or the uh, this company that sends these medications sent over four gallons of medication over a three month period to Santa Monica, apparently to the home of Dr. Conrad Murray's girlfriend rather than a clinic. The defense is going to either argue that not all of that was received because there's some question as to who received it. Sometimes it was left there and picked up by his girlfriend. So they may argue that it wasn't necessarily all, necessarily all received. Just because it was shipped doesn't mean that it ultimately made its way to Michael Jackson. And what else can they do in terms of, they were also trying to paint a picture of him being a pretty nice guy with the first one in terms of him. So it wasn't making more clinic, it wasn't making much money that he treated the different patients. Today the defense was able to show from the very first witness that Dr. Murray is a generous man. He established a clinic in Houston in 2006 that was established to treat indigents and low-paying patients. And he did this in memory of his father. This clinic apparently didn't make very much money. So the defense offered that evidence to show that Dr. Murray is not just all about making money, he's actually giving back to the community. The defense also established that Dr. Murray paid the rent for one of his girlfriends, utility, was generous in that way. And lastly, the defense tried to show that Dr. Murray was kind to a courier, but the judge didn't allow the jury to hear that evidence. Very good. Thank you so much, Mr. Duncan.